Hi everyone and welcome to Baby Name Mondays. Today is a very exciting baby name list. It is my top 10 fantastic beasts and mythical creatures baby names. This is set to be a humongous trend. We can't get enough of mythical creatures lately, whether it's Harry Potter's fantastic beasts, whether it's decorating our nurseries with unicorns. We are just all over this trend and where culture goes, baby names follow. I have got some amazing, very hipster, as in their fast rising and very cultural baby names that are all names of mythical creatures or fantastic beasts. So if you love animal names, if you love nature names, if you just love any type of exciting hipster names, then stay tuned. I'm going to go boy girl, boy girl and 10 to 1. Just to confirm, of course, my coat is faux fur and I am in my daughter's bedroom in this lovely blossomy woods. So at number 10 is a boy's baby name I'm sure you've heard of, and that is the name Griffin. I absolutely love the name Griffin, and Griffin is an absolutely fierce animal. It has the body of a lion, but the beak and wings of an eagle. So what better, more masculine, but cute name for your little boy? Griffins are a fantastic symbol. You see them absolutely everywhere. Griffins guard the city of London. You'll see them so much around the capital city here. This is because they are known as very noble beasts, very trustworthy, very strong. So they are often protectors of treasure. So it is a lovely beast to name your little wildling after. It's at number 1704 at the moment in the UK, so there are babies being named Griffin. What do you think about it? Would you go for Griffin? My second baby name is a girl name and it is stunning. That is the name Lorelei. Lorelei is actually a mermaid name. So this is from German folklore where Lorelei was a bit of a siren, you know, one of those mermaids with a beautiful song that used to lure sailors into shipwrecks along the River Rhine. So she's known as absolutely beautiful and very alluring. Lorelei was also the name of Marilyn Monroe's character in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. So it's got two amazing bits of culture there. Very sophisticated name with two absolutely gorgeous references, one in folklore and one in sort of modern culture if you're a Marilyn Monroe fan. I just think it is so pretty and a really unexpected but welcome change from names like Lily, like Layla. I love L sounding names. This one is so wearable. What do you think? At number three is a boy or girl name, one of the ones you probably thought of as soon as you saw the title to this baby name list and that is the name Phoenix. If phoenix is a Latin word, it is a very long living bird that regenerates itself by bursting into those flames and then is kind of reborn through it. Albus Dumbledore has a phoenix called Fawkes, who I guess is after Guy Fawkes. Phoenix is more popular for boys, it is at number 282, so it's one of the most popular fantastic beast names that we have. And that's probably due to like River Phoenix, or it just sounds a bit like the name Felix, but it's got a bit more edge to it. But it is also used for girls as well. It's at number 685 for baby girls in the UK at the moment. I think it is really pretty for a girl. I think it is so edgy, so cool, and so modern sounding for either. What do you think? Would you use Phoenix for a boy or a baby girl? At number four is a girl name, and that is the name Pixie. In the UK, we have the singer Pixie Lot, and I think she is making this really, really popular. It is so pretty, and I actually love this as an alternative to other nature names, other flower names. It sounds so delicate and so so cute. It's at number 423 in terms of usage in the UK this year so it's quite high up actually much higher than I thought it would be because I've never met a baby pixie. Do you have a baby pixie or have you met one? What do you think of it? I think that it is so cool. It's one of those you can't quite imagine being cool to the grown-up but I think you would definitely just embody it and I always say that if you love a name use it and go for it. So we all know quite a lot about pixies. Folklore has that they were from kind of Cornwall or Devon. Very very cheap super mischievous, they love to dance, they also love to battle, so folklore has it that they're up battling through the night and they're just cute little creatures that while they're a little bit mischievous they are very positive and well loved little creatures so the name Pixie is a super super cute one. And number five is a very unusual boy name that was actually given to 11 babies in 2016 which kind of surprised me but this is the name Aslan. So Aslan is of course the great lion 
from the Chronicles of Narnia. Aslan appears in all seven of the books. Aslan is actually Turkish for lion, so it's a great name. I think you'd get tons of comments if you chose the name Aslan, but it would be a beautiful motif for a little boy, the great lion. I'm sure any child would absolutely love that when they finally got to read the Chronicles of Narnia books. They are the most magical, timeless books, aren't they? I read them, my kids read them, I'm sure my parents read them. Everyone just seems to absolutely love Narnia books. What do you think? Would you be brave enough to use the name Aslan for a little boy? How about at number six, naming your baby girl after the Queen of the Fairies? So the Queen of the Fairies in real mythology isn't named, but Shakespeare names the Queen of the Fairies in Midsummer Night's Dream as Titania. Titania is such a gorgeous, gorgeous name. It is long, it is elegant, and it's got that beautiful literary meaning as well as the very m magical creature meaning. So since Shakespeare named the Queen of the Fairies Titania, she has been named that in a few other works of literature. So we know that Shakespeare is just so influential over all writers. And it's just a gorgeous way of bringing your love of literature and something so beautiful like the Queen of the Fairies to a baby girl. I can see tutus, I can see crowns. <laughs> I'm going with the theme. And I just think it is a very gorgeous and underused name. It's currently not ranking from what I can see in England, but have you used it? Would you use it? Is it on your list? Or maybe pop it on there right now to have a gorgeous, unusual and very beautiful baby name. And number seven is a boy's name that is the name of a centaur. So a centaur is a man at the front and a horse at the back. And they are very prevalent throughout mythology. They are absolutely fantastic beasts because they talk, but they have the strength of a horse. They're very romantic, but they're also quite fierce. So it's a beautiful animal to kind of think about naming your child after. The name I have chosen though is an interesting one. So it is Firenze. So Firenze is a centaur in Harry Potter. So I'm sure you've seen how helpful Firenze is to Harry. He lives in those kind of woods, doesn't he? And he's a bit of a frightening character as well. So gets the pulses racing a bit. But So I think it's really cool for a little boy. It's a bit edgy, but it's also a little bit kind of with the mystical creature. It's kind of very foresty, very naturey as well. Another reason I really like this name is that it is from Hungarian origin, where it means flower or blossom. So if you really are after a floral name for a boy, how beautiful is that? And it is also the Italian word for Florence, for the city of Florence. Florence is a massively popular name for girls. So how about Firenze as a name for a boy? I really, really like it. And I love that it's got this kind of literary central meaning behind it as well. Eight is a brand new name that I absolutely love. Three Babies were called this back in 2016, but before then it didn't rank at all. And you'll know it when I say it, I guess, and it is a unicorn name. How popular are unicorns? I just cannot believe it. Every single t-shirt, every piece of stationery, unicorns in the house. I really wanted a unicorn here in Evelina's room. I was obsessed with unicorns as well when I was a little girl, so I would have absolutely loved this. But the name that I've chosen is Celestia. The Celestia features in My Little Pony, and she is one of the main unicorns in My Little Pony. So how gorgeous for a little girl to be named after Queen Celestia. <laughs> I think that's why we've seen three babies named this back in 2017, because My Little Pony is having this mad revival as well at the moment with the brand new movie coming out. Obviously a variant of the name Celeste, which is a gorgeous name in itself, which means heavenly. So it's got a beautiful baby name meaning. It sounds quite classic and traditional because of Celeste, but it's got that bit of sparkle, twilight sparkle <laughs> around it with Celestia. I think it is gorgeous. I would definitely have this on my baby name list if I was having another baby girl. Would you choose it? I love it. At number nine is the name Leandro. So Leandro is basically literally made up of lion and man, brought together to create the name Leandro. I really, really like it. I know that Leo has been such a popular name for so many longs. L names are so enduring and so popular. And I love long names on boys. And we don't hear them enough, do we? We don't have those long, gorgeous names for our sons. And Leandro just sounds absolutely amazing. I can totally see this being a really popular name in 2018. Again, it's got the lion iconography, which is fantastic. It's being used, it's at number 1022 in the UK at the moment. So there weren't too many babies called Leandro, but it is out there. And at number one is a girl name, and this is the name of a very famous nymph. So in Greek mythology, a nymph is a female nature deity who belongs to a certain place. They're very well known for being beautiful and beguiling. And a name I absolutely love that I came across for a nymph is the name Cleodora. 
So Cleo is a really popular name in the UK at the moment, but Cleo Dora with a K and that Dora ending just sounds absolutely stunning. It's a bit like Tabitha, it's a bit like Ophelia, and just those longer, more quirky names, but I've never heard Cleo Dora before. So Cleo Dora was one of three famous sisters, nymph sisters, and her name means glorious gift, and that's because she had the gift of prophecy. So she had a really magical power, and I just think the name is very magical, but very elegant and actually very wearable. She could be D or Dora, she could be Cleo. If you love the name Cleo, but you would like it to be slightly more unusual and exciting, then Cleo Dora could be a fantastic one. So that is this week's Baby Name Monday. I do a new baby name list here on YouTube every single Monday, and I called it Baby Name Mondays because I'm very creative and imaginative like that. And they are always themed, and I always give you the meanings and the rankings. Do join in in the comments below as always, and let me know any I have missed out, your favorite mythical creatures from literature or from mythology, and what names they have that you think would also be very wearable for real names. We love to hear your suggestions, and I will pin my favorite to the top. Next week, I am giving you two bonus baby name videos, winter baby names and Christmas baby names, of course, so do hit subscribe to follow along. My playlist of all my baby name videos will be linked below as well, so you can go back and have a lovely baby name binge if you fancy. Thanks as ever for watching. I so, so appreciate you guys' support. I started Baby Name Mondays a few months ago, and I enjoy it so much, and I feel like I'm really getting to know you all as well. So thanks, guys. <laughs> Throughout the week, I also do like parenting vlogs and baby vlogs and all sorts of things, so I will see you later on this week or next week for more baby names. Bye, guys.